it's a good idea to know how to get from radians to degrees. So we've just learned in the last video that um, if we go all the way around, if we're counting in radians, then we know that this right here, we start here, this is zero radians, but it's also, if it's a radius, if it's a circle of radius uh, one, then we know that going all the way around a circle is two pi r, and if r is one, then we make that two pi. And if we go halfway around the circle, we know that's pi. So if you know this in radians, you know that you know either this or this or this, then you're all set. This is really all you need to know sort of how to convert from degrees to radians. And the reason is that I like to do it, I mean, there's a lot of ways of doing this, but I like to just write it like this and say degrees, so deg over rad. I hope you're okay with that. Deg means degree, rad is radians. So I'm gonna write something that I know. I know about how many degrees are in how many radians. Because if I think of this then, going halfway around a circle, what's that? That's pi radians, so I know halfway around is pi. How many degrees is that? And most people know this all the way around is 360 degrees. Therefore, halfway around is 180. So you can say that 180 over pi is degree over radian. So this is, this is really all you need to do. Because then you can just use this fraction or the other way around. You can say radian over degree is pi over 180. So what I like to do is then just use this fraction. And I multiply whatever I'm given. I multiply it by the proper fraction to make the units cancel out. This is the only thing I find you really need. There's a lot of other ways to do it. You can say it's 360 over 2 pi. You see, that would reduce to 180 over pi. But this, I think, is a really useful way to convert. This is how you convert. So I'll show you a few examples here. We want to convert 35 degrees to radians. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by saying just 35 degrees. I'm just going to write it like this. Now, a nice trick to do things is let's just look at what units need to cancel out. Now, I just said I can either say 180 degrees over pi, or I could say pi over 180 degrees. Which one of these will cancel out degrees on the top? If you think about it carefully, I need something then with degrees on the bottom. Because degrees on the top divided by degrees on the bottom, that'll cancel out. So I know this must be the 180 degrees here, therefore this right here must be the pi radians here. Pi radians got to be on the top, and this is 180 degrees. And if I do it that way, I should have technically said this is radians. So this is 180 over pi radians. So in this case, I could have multiplied by 180 over pi radians, but then I would have had degrees, degrees, and that doesn't make any sense. I need my degrees to cancel out. See, I've got degrees divided by degrees. So this will work. Therefore, my answer then is three, uh, 35 pi over 180. Now, this right here is just an answer here, and I can actually divide that out. It turns out I can divide, what, 35 by, what's that, by 5? That'll give me 7. And if I divide 180 by 5, I get 36. So I could say this is 7 pi over 36 radians. Now, you could actually do it on your calculator, of course. You can actually sit there and calculate that. So you can say, all right, what is... What is 7 times pi, divide that by 36, and I'll get an answer of 0.61, roughly. So I would say it's almost equal to 0 0.61. It's not quite. It's exactly this. It's approximately this. That's why I put the little dot on top there. So it's about 0.61 radians. So there we go. So just so you know, at least when you're calculating radians, expect to get decimals and weird-looking numbers. Let's do the opposite. Let's convert radians to degrees. So here what I would do is set it up the same way. In other words, I just say 11 pi over 6. Now, this is in radians. I want to multiply by something to get rid of radians. Do I write radians on the top or on the bottom? If I put radians on the top, it'd be radians squared. That wouldn't make any sense. So this tells me I've got to put my radians on the bottom. If that's the case, then that's where I put my 180 on the bottom and my... Oops, sorry. That's not 180. It's pi. Pi goes on the bottom, 180 goes on the top. Because remember the conversion. The conversion of degree over radian is 180 degrees over pi radians. So that's why I do pi radians on the bottom, 180 degrees on the top. Then my radians cancel out. And then away I go. I just figure it out. So let's actually try to deal with this. This means I have, one, uh, I have 11 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. I can just forget about the radians then. So the pi's cancel out, thankfully. And I can actually deal with, uh, what is it, 180 over 6. And I can multiply that by 11. Let's see now. That will give me, in this case, 
Now let's just do it on a calculator just to be absolutely sure. So 11 times 180, and all that divided by 6 should be what, 330? Yeah, 330. Good. So this is 330 degrees. So you can convert from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. And the trick is just remember, just know one thing. You know that there's 180 degrees for every pi radians. You know that those are equivalent. You know, going around a circle, this is what it is. And because if we drew these, this is also 0 and 360 degrees. Over here, this would be 180 degrees. Now, if you knew about this drawing, you could also work that out. Then this is 90, this is 270 degrees. Then you'd actually also know that if you started drawing your other things, like your pi over 2s and your 3 pi over 2s, then you'd know how to do those. But my trick is just, just look at 180 degrees over pi radians, and then just, just work it out. Just multiply by a number that cancels out the units you don't want and leaves you with the units you do want.